But I had one of the desserts and I was like, the reaction going on in my brain, in my body is so fucking different than everybody at this table right now. My brain's doing fucking backflips. It's going <laughs> crazy. It's like, how do we get more of this? Yeah. Like, I'll kill a motherfucker for more of this stuff. This is fucking amazing. I was going to mention, though, real quick with the fasting stuff, because, like, you know, the protein, the coffee, it's not fasting. Um, but when we started doing fasting in the beginning, uh, we were a little bit off the deep end with it. I mean, I know I was off the deep end. I, I can't speak for anybody else, but I know that I was fasting every day. And the cool thing is that by going off the deep end a little bit, and I think everybody does this when they start a new type of diet. Like when they go carnivore, oh, I'm strict carnivore, no maple syrup, no fruits, mm -hmm. you know, just like, but it gets you, I guess, kind of used to certain things. And then you start adding certain things in. I think there's a benefit to that. I think there is a benefit to doing 16 hour fast and staying strict with it, having caffeine and having electrolytes or whatever, because it, it really does get you used to not being food focused. Mm -hmm. This is the, I think this is the big benefit of it because everyone's like, oh, the main benefit of fasting is the caloric restriction you get since you're not eating during the day. But I think the even bigger benefit, and we've talked about this so much, is that it trains you to be okay with being hungry. It trains you that if you're a little bit hungry, you don't need to reach for food every time you feel that. It our comes and guest, it goes. Our guest yesterday, he was like, man, he's like, I, mm -hmm. I'm not a fasting guy. And you could see he kind of got like a little wound up about like even thinking about missing food for a while yeah and i was thinking i did not envy him <laughs> i don't envy him either right because like when we eat we can fucking eat but when we're not eating it doesn't bother us because now because we fasted we've gotten used to not having to reach for food every time we're fucking hungry that's the king benefit because now when you go back to going to whatever diet you do when there are periods during your day when you're not eating, you're not constantly thinking of your next meal. And that can make sticking to any diet you do so much fucking easier. Mm -hmm. And then I was thinking about it because I was like, man, maybe I can split up my breakfast into like a, a lunch meal. Because I do have a lot of calories in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I have eight eggs and four pieces of bread. Like that's kind of a lot of food. And then I'll have a protein shake with it as well. Okay. But I thought about it and I was just like, man, it would kind of suck to put a wall on this meal. Like I can't, I can't cross this line. I can only have four eggs right now mm. instead of like this really big plate of food where I'm like, I am full. Like, and I'm not thinking about food right now. Mm. I don't know. Like, I, I guess it's like, you can kind of pick your poison. Like, do you want to eat a little bit right now? And then a little bit later, or do you want to eat a lot right now and then eat a lot later? Just, uh, twice a week. Just don't eat it at all. Or that too. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's something simple, you know, like, uh, -huh. uh Cause like being in the middle kind of sucks. I think. Yeah. Like being in the middle like wakes up the demons. It's Absolutely. like yeah. poking the bear, man. <laughs> yeah. It, it's Fuck that. Uh, it, it's getting it's it's like putting your feet into the cold plunge and then just sitting there deciding whether just, you want to go in or not. I was just listening to uh, Fifty Cent this morning. I was working out mm -hmm. and that song "Little Bit" came on and I was like, "What a load of shit this is!" This song. Oh, how's it go? Take he, your, he, yeah, go ahead. Pull your pants down just a little bit. Unbutton oh. your pants just a little bit. Just this a little, and that, yeah. just a little Take bit. Take them off, pull them down just, just a little, little bit. bit. Yeah. It's like, no, you're not going a little bit. Like, <laughs> That's just, just coming tip. off. Yeah, yeah. Turn around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. You're going, you're fucking going all in, right? <laughs> you don't want to get teased. Leads to problems, oh, right? Leads to being oh. out of control. That's just what you say to like just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, oh, just a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. And then it's a sexual assault. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're going to prison. <laughs> yeah. Child support payments for the next 18 years. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. I don't like teasing. I, I'm not a fan. Like, don't fucking tease me. <laughs> I'm not patient enough for that shit. That's why mm -hmm. I like fasting. <laughs> That's why I like fasting. Because mm -hmm. yeah, then no, I can. No middle ground with it. It's right in front of me and I can just eat it all. Mm -hmm. Right there, right then, done. Fuck that. I'm not going to eat that breakfast tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, That's you like, will. No, I won't. <laughs> Say gonna, I won't. It's going to it's going to it's going to call you in the morning. <laughs> For real, I'm going to be it's so like, hungry. yo. No, just uh, uh, doing it every other day I think would be like fucking awesome. Yeah, why not? Cuz mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Like I'm not really that hungry in the morning anyway, so I look forward to it. We'll see what happens when I get here though. That's when the the hunger gremlin is going to come get me. Yeah, I don't, I don't get out of my house uh, all the time without eating. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't happen every day. Um, yeah, sometimes I'll have breakfast, I'll have a couple eggs, things like that. But more recently, I've been trying to get out of the house with like 
you know, I just had like a coffee protein shake type of thing like you're having on the show. Um, but I just don't, I don't like, I don't like having a lot of rules to what I do. And I will go back and forth on that a little bit. I'll sometimes be a little bit more intense with it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll be more, I guess I would say, rather than intense, say intentional with it at times. But I found that this is the greatest way to be sustainable is to not really have a lot of rules. There's nothing, Mm -hmm. I'm not breaking, I'm not breaking anything, you know? Um, If I, you know, choose to have some frozen yogurt with my kids or my niece or nephew or something like that, it's like, that's just like part of that particular day. Um, <clears throat> there's, there's, there's nothing, I guess like something I learned more recently, this is kind of interesting. I, when I went to eat with a, with a group of people and we all got served like, we all got served like different food and then you kind of shared it and stuff around the table. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, but everyone got to eat the same thing. And at the end there was dessert and there was like, maybe like eight people. So there's like eight different desserts. They're all kind of similar, but slightly different. And no one really cared that much about dessert, except for me, because I love that (laughs) shit. Everybody else was a little bit more into like their drinks and stuff. Um, But I had one of the desserts and I was like, the reaction going on in my brain and my body is so fucking different than everybody at this table right now. My brain's doing fucking backflips. It's going crazy. (laughs) It's like, how do we get more of this? Yeah. Like, I'll kill a motherfucker for more of this stuff. This is fucking amazing. <laughs> and that actually was a really profound moment for me. I was like, oh, I don't think other people, it maybe just doesn't register the same way with them. And maybe people have their other obsessions that they're into or whatever, but theirs isn't like sweets in particular, and that's mine. Mm. And I was like, I, I was like, you know what? You got to be a lot more careful. Like, don't fuck with this stuff. So I have stuff in the pantry and my wife bought something the other day of like Catalina Crunch, like chocolate mm-hmm. cereal mm-hmm. thing or something. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. we have some stuff in the house and I'm just like, just don't even start. Just there's no, there's no reason, there's no benefit of that. It's not going to really give you the nutrients that you need, the calories that you need. And you're just going to obsess over it. So fucking don't do it. So it, that stuff like that has been really uh, helpful to me. But in general, when it comes to the main part of my diet, I love all the food that I eat, minus the liver. I don't love the flavor of liver. But again, even with fasting, the first thing that I eat when I get home is liver. And I actually kind of look forward to it. It's only been a handful of days and I already broke the habit of being like, oh, this is going to be, <laughs> this is going to be disgusting. So it only takes a couple of days. And what I would encourage people on is what if the thing that sounds really hard or the thing that sounds really tough could change your life forever? You're like, fuck these guys in fasting. I can't, they're still talking about it. They talk about it all the time. Yeah. But what if, what if just a handful of fasting here and there really helped? What if you, and what if you used your own intelligence, your own intuition about how you operate, how your day goes, and you're like, ah, oh, and Seema eats once a day. That seems fucking really hard. But Not every day. Well, yeah, he eats once a day. Most days. Most days. Um, one meal a day, most days. Um, but maybe for you, maybe you could say, I'm going to have breakfast and I'm going to have dinner. Mm. I'm going to eat twice a day. Is that different than what you're currently doing? If it is, you're probably heading in the right direction. Mm-hmm. Pat Roger family, how's it going? We talk about sleep all the time on this podcast. That's why we partnered with Eight Sleep Mattresses. Now, this mattress is the Tesla of sleep. It's the Tesla of beds. Its technology tracks your heart rate, your heart rate variability. It changes its own temperature based off the way you sleep so that you get better sleep every single night. It is quite literally insane. Check them out. Andrew, how do they get it? Yes, and before I do that, I wanted to let you guys know that you can actually set the bed to wake you up silently. I know that sounds weird, but actually the bed starts vibrating around your head and it doesn't wake up the entire household the way my phone used to do back in the day. So now I just kind of have the bed wake me up silently and it's amazing. You guys got to head over to 8sleep.com slash power project. That's E-I-G-H-T sleep.com slash power project. When you guys go there, you'll see a banner across the top saying that you're going to receive $150 off automatically. So again, that's 8sleep.com slash power project to receive $150 off your pod pro cover or your pod pro cover and mattress combo. Links to them down in the description as well as the podcast show notes. Let's get back to the podcast leverage protein shakes too because one of the biggest things that uh we, i see from people in terms of questions that they ask you and questions that i see is like how do you guys get all that protein in right 
well, there's a lot of meat, but protein shakes are very helpful, right? So if you get in two scoops of a protein shake, that's like maybe 60 something grams of protein. I like milk. <laughs> so it ends up being like an 85 to 90 gram protein shake bomb. Um, and then I'll still get in a lot of protein through the food I eat, but I can sometimes do that before one of my meals or sometimes at the end of the night and it's good. Like it's mm -hmm. really, really good, but it doesn't, it's not difficult to get all the protein I need to get in, in. Yeah. So definitely take that or, or try that out because some people who do end up doing one meal, they're like, I can't eat all this food at once. Okay. Space it out. It doesn't need to be one meal, even though we're talking about one meal a day, just like you just said, Mark. If you want to do morning, evening, if you want to do two meals in the evening, whatever, space it out so you can get in the amount of calories you need to get in if that's something you want to do. Hey guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it. All right. Share this with a friend. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also we are on Reddit and Discord. All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us down below there too. So you can get whatever you like from us. All right. Peace.